Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix with another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning skin retouching in the shortest time possible and this is going to be the most insightful and resourceful tutorial that you are going to be watching right here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to be learning frequency separation using this very image taken by Encourage Studios and you can also check him out on Instagram and I'm as well going to link his YouTube channel in the description of this very video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be showing you frequency separation from the very start to the very end. What you have to understand is frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer we have the textures and in the low frequency layer we have the colors. So when you work on the textures alone and perfect them, then we as well work on the colors and perfect them. We are going to end up with a nicely retouched image at the end of the process of what we call skin retouching using frequency separation in photoshop so we're simply going to come to this background layer and we're going to press ctrl j twice uh, by the way i'm using photoshop 2020 after creating those two layers so you press ctrl j twice to create two layers so i'm just going to name this low frequency and i'm going to name this the upper layer to high frequency so i'm just going to name that to high frequency so like i've said the high frequency light is for textures and the low frequency light is for the color. So just want to retain individual information in the low frequency light that is colors and also the high frequency light which is the textures. So select the low frequency light and now hide it. Then you're going to come to filter, blur and come down to Gaussian blur. So when you come to Gaussian blur, this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation. It is on this step that we determine the amount of textures that we want to eliminate from this very image so you have to look for the area that has prominent or more skin textures than the rest of uh, the image so after getting that area we're simply going to blur the textures from that area meaning as soon as these textures start getting lost from this area it means the rest of the textures that are existing within the image are also going to be completely lost so I'm just going to come the radius and take it all the way up so you left click and drag this up, up the point when you're just starting to completely lose out on the prominent details and simply click on OK. So after doing that, we're going to come to the high frequency layer and now select it. Remember in the high frequency layer, we only want to remain with texture. So select it and now activate it by clicking on the eye icon. Then come to image and we're going to come down to apply image. So when you come to apply image, simply come to the apply image window right here and the source is the name of the image and now the layer from which you are subtracting the textures is going to be the low frequency layer so this is the most important step so if i told you are having 8 right here it means your image is going to be 8 bit and if i told you you're having 16 right here it means that your image is going to be a 16 bit image so for my case i'm working with a 16 bit image so for a 16 bit image basically the blend mode has to be add or pass at 100 percent the scale is 2 and offset 0 and after that you're simply going to come and return on the invert option so make sure I preserve transparency and mask cannot check and you can see the textures on the gray layer which is lacking colors then if actually working with an 8-bit image simply come and use a blend mode of subtract the scale is 2 offset 128 and you don't invert and you'll have the same results so since mine is a 16-bit image, I'm just going to use a blend mode of add, scale is 2 offset 0 and simply invert and click OK. So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do basically is come in the blend mode and change it from normal. And I'll change it all the way down to linear light and we'll get back the image the way it was meant to be. So after doing this, I'm just going to put these two in a group by pressing Ctrl or Command. Command for Mac, Ctrl for Windows. So Command G to group them. So I'm just going to name that to frequency separation. Then after, after we have done this, the next thing we are going to do basically is coming and simply opening the group. So when we are retouching basically what we do, we edit individual layers and perfect those layers. So we are going to first of all work on the colors in the image. So in order to work on the color, simply select the layer that is containing the colors, which is the low frequency layer. So after selecting that layer, you're simply going to come to the brushes and right click and get the mixer brush tool. Then if I told you having 
another version of Photoshop or another interface of Photoshop, you can find the Mr. Brush tool down here. So after doing this, you are simply going to come and set it with the settings above here. So whichever tool you select in Photoshop, the settings are always going to be above here. So for the settings of the Mr. Brush tool, make sure the hardness is set to zero and make sure clean, clean brush is selected because when we are retouching the image, you don't want the brush to carry any other color. You just want the brush to be clean. That is why it has these check boxes. So make sure you select the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke. Remember, we are going to be using the Mr. Brush tool to blend the transitions within the skin or the skin color. So after that, the weight is going to be 9%, load 75, mix at 90, flow at 100%, and make sure smoothing is at 10%. And this is the most important step. So make sure sample all layers is not turned on because when you leave this turned on and we, for example, paint on the skin of the model, for example, right here, it means the brush is going to be commanded also copy textures and paint them in the color layer. And you're going to be having this kind of rough skin texture, which you don't want. So make sure sample all, all layers is not turned on. And with that done, simply hide the high frequency layer so that you can look at the color. So if I told you Mr. Brush tool, is showing a plus icon simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard then as you're retouching in order to increase or decrease on the size of the mr brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to decrease or increase on the size of the mr brush tool then if at all you're working and you're retouching at the image when you're retouching given areas always make sure the size of the mr brush tool is going to be within the range of the colors you're trying to mix. So you shouldn't get a brush that is exceeding a given color that you're trying to work on. So how to apply the Mr. Brush tool? We are going to simply reduce on the size and make sure it is within that color range and left click and hold down and you move the Mr. Brush tool in the direction or in the way that area has been shaped. And that is going to maintain or blend that color. So we mix that color and mix it reduce on the size and mix another area. So you have to take the strokes the way an area is shaped. So you can see on the cheek area, I'm going to move the brush in this direction. So when it comes when this color is transitioning from one color to another, just reduce on the size and get a small brush to mix and blend that color. So that all the colors within the image are going to be transitioning quite well within the image. So that is what I'm going to do, be doing for this process. And I'll see you later on. Let me just have to forward this. And by the way, one last thing I forgot to tell you is when you're working on the images, always make sure that you retouch it at a distance because we, in this way you can see the uneven skin tone transitions and you try to blend them quite well. And I have a tutorial focusing more on how to best use and apply the Mr. Brush tool. You can search it and find it on this channel among us, the latest videos with the same thumbnail. So I'm just going to proceed and forward this. Hello, welcome back. And now you can see we are done retouching the image. So to see the image once again, simply click on the high frequency line. And you can see that the image is still having the textures that were meant to be initially. So you can see before and after for just using the Mr. Brush tool. And we have as well retained the original skin details or skin textures for this image. But we have just blended the colors or skin tones. So after doing that, there are some areas we may miss out when we are trying to use the Mr. Brush tool. So for those areas, we are going to simply get the lasso tool and we try to perfect them. So just going to come on the left, low frequency layer still selected. But this time around, the high frequency layer is still selected. Simply select the lasso tool and make sure a new selection is select active and the feathering of 21 pixels because we want the edges of the selection to be very smooth and we don't want very sharp edges from the selection. Simply make a shape and you can follow or you should follow the way a given area is shaped and you have to keep away from selecting the eyebrows or even the edges or even the accessories simply come back to filter and come to black and come to gaussian blur so when you come to gaussian blur simply come to the radius 
This is the radius that we had when we are separating the frequencies of the image. Simply come the radius and simply take it up up the point when you feel like you're having a very nice skin texture for your image. So for my case, I usually multiply this radius by three. So the radius that you had for your image, just multiply that radius by three and seven by three is 21. I'll just type in 21 and you can see the texture looks okay. So I'll just click OK and I'm just going to be applying this. So to deselect, simply click away from the selection and that is going to automatically deselect the previous selection. So that is how you can use the lasso tool. So right click and come to Gaussian Blur. And when you feel like it is too much for your liking, you can simply right click on the selection after applying the Gaussian Blur and simply fade or reduce on the opacity of that Gaussian Blur in that area. So that is how you can use uh, this. Gaussian blur technique to fine tune your images and get the best out of your skin retouching using the Mr. Brush tool or using frequency separation rather. So I'm just going to try to click and come to that and apply it. So when it comes to the nose, simply apply it on these edges of the nose and also come this other side and also apply it to this other side of the nose. Right click and come to Gaussian blur. Don't select the whole nose because that is going to make the nose flat. So you have to avoid selecting the highlight and don't select the whole nose as a whole. So after doing this, I only apply the lasso tool technique only and only on the face area because that has more textures. So after doing this, you're simply going to come to the high frequency layer and remove blemishes by coming and getting the clone stamp tool and make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero. Opacity and flat 100%. The sample has to be current layer because we want to remove blemishes that are part of the high frequency layer. So I'm going to zoom into the image by pressing Ctrl plus on the keyboard and reducing on the size of the clone stamp tool by using the bracket keys. So to remove this blemish, you're simply going to hold down the option key if at all you're using Mac. Then if at all you're using Windows, it is alternate. And make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is bigger than the blemish that you want to remove. So we want to copy clean skin that is close to the blemish and paste it over the pimple or the blemish to remove it. So in order to copy, hold down the alternate and left click and copy clean skin and release the alternate and simply left click over the blemish to eliminate it. So this is going to be a better and more effective way to clean up or remove blemishes from your images. So just going to remove some of the blemishes and I show you what we have at the end of this. So I'm just going to show you a quick before and after for this retouched image. So basically, this is the image before, after, before, after. So this is how you can do and understand skin retouching from the very start to the very end. And if I told you I've learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If I told you I've been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel and behind the scenes. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.